Hi everybody, this is Julie from www.designsbyjuju.com and in this video I am going to demonstrate for you how to use our motive filled knockdown stitch frames and add monograms or text in your embroidery editing software and save it as a file to be taken to your machine and stitched out. We have had um, a huge amount of questions these past few days since releasing our last three sets of the monogram, I'm sorry, of the motive filled knockdown stitch frames on www.designsbyjuju.com. These have been amongst our most popular design sets this entire year. We released sets one and two back earlier in 2018. And um, being Christmas time, it's a great time for people to um, want to whip up those really quick gifts. Lots of people are wondering, do you stitch the frame first and then go into your machine and add the letters? And um, no, the best way is to merge your letters or a name or your text with the design in your editing software. For demonstration purposes, I am using Inbrilliance Essentials as um, it is one of the primary editing softwares that we use. I highly recommend it. You can go to um, Designs by Ju I'm sorry, you can go to Inbrilliance.com. There is a free version for just using DX files. If you want to be editing, such as I'm going to show you, you do need to own a complete embroidery software program. Um, the concept that I'm going to show you is pre pretty much the same in any software. I don't, uh, I cannot tell you how to do the ins and outs of other softwares. I'm just showing you how to do this in Inbrilliance, but the idea is the same. So in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how um, to put a monogram or a name inside a frame and align it and then save it as your stitch file to bring to your machine to stitch out. So let me show you how to do that in Essentials. I'm going to go to a new design and I'm going to go to file and merge stitch file. Some softwares might say um, insert embroidery, merge embroidery, etc. Uh, I'm going to insert the 5x7 size for this particular demonstration. And I want to select it and just rotate it. There's a little rotate button here because I want it to be horizontal. Um, now, we see up here is our objects and we see the design here is all showing up as one object. And what I want to do is add some text here. So in Inbrilliance, I'll click on this little letter A and I'm using the she intertwine monogram and I'm going to use um, I think I, I'm using the two and a half inch no, I'm going to use the two inch okay uh, and I'm just going to go here to do my monogram I put my three letters there and I set it and it is um, I want to adjust I'm going to zoom in a little see these little three, these little green squares here I want to move my letter E over, it's a personal preference. And I'm going to select all of my letters and this align tool, I want to be aligned horizontal. So I'm going to click center and apply and just make sure that these were aligned horizontally. Now I'm going to close that. So now what I want to do is I've got, I'm going to hold my control key select all of my objects and I'm going to go back to this align tool and I'm going to center it vertically and horizontally and hit apply and what that did is it moved my text to be centered within my frame. If I um, wanted to fill the frame a little bit more I might slightly resize this and you do this at your own risk. I provide many sizes. Um, I never recommend resizing them on your own more than 15 or 20 percent. I'm just going to ever so slightly resize that and I'm going to go back to a line again just to make sure everything is centered in my frame and that looks good to me and you don't have to change the colors you can do that when you go to your machine. I, I'm not going to do blue and green but uh, you know maybe I'll just change it to a blue. So now I have my monogram in my frame this is all one design. It will stitch out your frame first. 
Then we'll go on to the second color and stitch out your letter. So now I'm just going to go to File, um, and I am going to save Stitch File. Choose my format for my brother machine. It is um, PES. And I will save to my desktop. And I'll name it um, Motif Frame Sample, for instance. Uh, you could save it wherever you want, save it to your USB stick, etc. Um, say you don't want to monogram and you just want to do a font. You can, uh, I'm going to type my name here, Julie, and I'm going to choose uh, the Bridgetown. Let's see, I don't want two inches. What do I want? How about a one and a half inch? One inch. Why is this not adjust? Oh, I didn't set it yet. Ha. Huh. Let's see. I am playing around with sizes here. So if I do two, I think that's too big. If I do one and a half, we'll do one and a half inch. So um, now again, I have the letters. I'm going to select the letters and the frame. Go to the align tool and I'm going to align it center in both places and there I have a frame with my name. Same concept, I would go to file, save stitch file and um, just save that to go stitch it. Again, this is the same as any embroidery editing software. You want to put your text or your monogram on top of the frame and have your object stitch out in the correct order in any software program you use. I recommend in Brilliance. There are so many great things you can do with it and you can use any of our fonts and m most other digitizers fonts in the BX format right within this program and type them instead of have to merge one letter at a time which can be really uh, cumbersome. I hope that this was helpful to you. If you have any questions please email us at support at designsbyjuju.com. You all have a great day and a fabulous weekend. Thanks.